Hello, Mr. Wilder's Agriculture and STEM students at Tomlin Middle School. My name is Tavis Douglas. I'm the Associate Professor of Agribusiness at the College of Central Florida in Ocala. And we're, I'm taking you on a virtual field trip. We're up here at Wet Hammock Farm in Central Florida. And today, we're going to discuss peaches. So we're out here in the middle of the peach orchard and as you can see we're getting ready for harvest. We have some a lot of fruit out here that's that's almost ripe uh, that's that's getting uh, ready to harvest. It looks like another another week or two and we'll be we'll be picking out here. Um, so peaches in general. So peaches the taxonomic name of peaches are Prunus persica. Um, peaches are uh, in a classification of fruit known as stone fruit because of the pit in the center. So botanically they're related to uh, fruits such as nectarines, plums, uh, as well as cherries. They're all, they're all in the same family. Um, peaches as, uh, as we know them uh, originated uh, in central China, somewhere in between 6 or 8, well began cultivation sometime uh, between 6 and 8 thousand years ago. So we've actually been cultivating peaches for a very, very long time. Um, peaches, and then they, we, peaches spread around the world from the Middle East into Europe. Um, peaches didn't arrive in the Americas until the 16th century when the Spanish actually, actually brought, them, uh, brought them here. Um, the English actually began cultivation of peaches in the 17th century in North America, as we know it now in, in the United States. Um, Thomas Jefferson actually had peach trees uh, in his yard at, at Monticello in Virginia. Um, Full-time cultivation of peaches didn't begin though in the United States um, until the 19th century, until the 1800s. Um, in cultivation, uh, we began cultivating peaches from Maryland south all the way to Georgia. As we know it today, Georgia and South Carolina produce uh, quite a bit of peaches. Um, we're here in Florida and a lot of these trees that you see have been bred to um, to thrive and at least grow in our particular climate and we'll discuss a little bit more about that. So the first thing that makes peach trees uh, unique as far as uh, um, other trees in general is the way that these trees are pruned. So out here in this orchard these trees uh, are pruned. Uh, we, they're kept around six to eight feet tall that way the fruit can be harvested from the ground. If these trees were, were uh, allowed to grow on their own they would get up somewhere between 15 to 18 feet tall and a lot of the fruit we wouldn't be able to harvest uh, unless we had a ladder. So we actually prune these trees in what's known as an open vase shape. So the best way to describe or to visualize this is we like to think of it as a bowl that sits on a stick. So the stick being the trunk that's uh, closest to the ground um, and, and it, it's, it's this way so we can irrigate and, and cultivate and do other things underneath the tree. But essentially uh, this, is, this is the shape of it. So we keep, we prune the center of the tree out so it's nice and open on the inside um, as well as open around the outside of the tree. Uh, the main reason why we do, and then we flat top, we cut the top of the, of, of the trees off so we can harvest the fruit. The main reason why we keep the, the, tr the central part of the tree open um, is for surface area. We have more surface area for sunlight to penetrate into the tree. The more sunlight we have, the more flowers we have on the inside as well as the outside. So it maximizes production on these trees. Um, if we actually turn that bowl into a tree, um, you can see some of the branches that we have. So coming off of the main trunk here that's pruned um, at approximately uh, 18 to 24 inches from the ground, we have what's known as scaffold limbs. So we maintain three to five scaffold limbs that come off of the base and these are the main branches that will support the fruit load. Um, and we like to keep them spaced out um, if we can, you know, as far apart away from each other. Um, and then off of these scaffold branches we have short branches where the flowers and the fruit can develop. Um, if the fruit load gets too heavy on a, on, a, on a tree, these scaffold branches can break. So we try to minimize that. We try to prune these trees to minimize breakage um, due to the weight of the fruit itself. Um, a few other terms uh, about peaches. So peaches, the fruit itself, is a climacteric fruit, meaning that it's going to continue to ripen uh, once it's harvested off of the tree. So it, in a lot of ways it's going to be very similar to uh, either tomatoes which are which are you might buy green in the store and then, and then later ripen or or, um, or bananas which do the same thing you might buy them green and then they're going to ripen to yellow. Peaches will 
in a lot of ways kind of uh, mimic and, and do the same things. Uh, unlike some other fruit uh, that we grow here in Florida, strawberries and citrus will not do that. They have to be harvested ripe. So peaches can be harvested before they're ripe um, so they can be shipped, go to the grocery store and be ripe or somewhat ripe uh, when you buy them. So that's that term. They're also Peaches are also a temperate crop. Um, so the opposite of a temperate crop would be a tropical crop, uh, more or less. So a temperate crop um, basically means that these trees need cold weather to produce fruit. So um, we don't get too much cold weather in Florida, but we get but these particular trees, like I said, they were bred to withstand um, our particular climate. These trees will get just enough chill to uh, produce flowers uh, and to produce fruit. So what do I necessarily mean by that, enough chill? Um, we have what's known as, and everywhere around the world, or what's known as chill hours. So in Florida, we get a certain amount of chill hours uh, to, that will enable these peach trees to produce fruit. So a chill hour, by definition, is 32, uh, 45 de degrees down to 32 degrees, uh, one hour, how many hours of, of that that we get. So in Florida, um, we're, looking, we're accumulating chill hours um, between October and, and March, typically. So these, we have to match, and all peach trees are different. There's hundreds of varieties of peaches. They're not all the same. Uh, so we have to match the right tree with the right climate to harvest them at, at the right time. If you have a tree that requires a lot of chill hours and you plant it in Florida, it might grow fine, it might look pretty, but it might not ever produce blooms or it might not, uh, not ever produce fruit at all. So we have to be mindful of that. So where we're at in Citra here, we get some, on average, somewhere between 300 to 400 chill hours in uh, a season. If you're in, uh, if you're in Plant City, you're going to get slightly less than that because you're a little further south. Um, you might get two to, two to 300 chill hours. And if you're further south, uh, you know, around Miami or Homestead area, you might get zero to 100 chill hours. So we're having to match our trees to the particular climate. And there's a lot of crops that are like that. Um, but because we're discussing peaches today, um, that's, that's what we're looking at. So these particular trees are acclimated. This particular, these particular varieties that we have here are acclimated somewhere in that 200 to 400 chill hour range. There's not a whole lot of peaches like that because we don't have a huge commercial industry of peaches in Florida, um, but we, we are able to select the correct trees that will grow here. So um, a few other characteristics of peaches. So not only, um, so the variety in chill hours are one thing, but we can also classify peaches as melting flesh and non-melting flesh peaches. So a lot of the peaches, a lot of the peaches here, um, at this, this particular farm are melting flesh peaches, meaning that they're not, they're extremely juicy, but they don't have a shelf life at all. Um, they're very difficult to ship and get to a store in a timely manner before they begin to get soft. All right, so most of these are not grown commercially. Um, Non-melting flesh peaches are most of the peaches that you would buy in the grocery store in our standard commercial market. So they're going to be much firmer um, and they're going to be a little bit longer lasting. So they're going to last a lot longer on your, um, you, you know, in your house after, after you purchase them. So those are two characteristics. Um, peaches can also be classified by how well they cling to the pit in the middle. So they can either be freestone or clingstone. So freestone peaches, as you would imagine, um, the flesh detaches easily from, from the pit once you, once you open it. Those are going to be most of the peaches that you're going to find. Those are the same uh, peaches that are, that are here, um, the same as the peaches that you would buy in the grocery store. They're going to separate freely from the pit in the middle. Uh, we also have a cling stone, which are peaches that, again, the flesh is going to bind to the pit of the peach. Most of those peaches go to processing. So all of your canned peaches, all of your processed peaches um, are, are going to fit, fall into this category because they just, they're just not as good as a, as a fresh product in itself. Okay, so the most important thing um, and the thing that people have the most problem with, when is a peach going to be ripe? Well, the first thing we need to look at is what's known as ground color. What is ground color on a peach? Well, we're all familiar with the red on the peaches. Well. Um, the red is one color, but peaches are typically going to be two. They're going to be yellow on the other side. So the ground color actually refers to the yellow part of 
the peach, not the red. So the first clue to determine if a peach is ripe or not is to look at this yellow or the ground color. Now when a peach is unripe, uh, this yellow is going to be more green. So this peach itself still has a little bit of green on it. I know it's kind of hard to see, uh, but there's still some, some tinges of green in this yellow part of the peach. Once this turns completely yellow, you know that this peach is ripe to pick. Now, you can pick it with a little green on the back. You can put it, like I said, uh, they will ripen off the tree, so you could pick it, you could store it, and a day or two, this peach would be ripe. So that's one way to tell if a peach is ripe. Um, number two is when the red color brightens. So, going looking at the other color of the peach, the actual red color, when this gets to a nice, bright, extremely bright red, um, is another indicator that this peach is, is going to be ripe and ready to be, ready to be picked off the tree. Uh, another clue is going to be smell. They're going to smell like a peach. This one I know is not ripe and it really doesn't smell much like a peach yet. There's really not much of a much of a smell to it. But if it smells like a peach, it's a peach and it's going to be ready to eat. Um, and then also by feel. So this is the hardest one. So this this peach here is kind of firm, kind of hard like, like a rock. You want to be able to, um, peaches need to have a little give. When they're ready to eat, when they're, when they're completely ripe, they're going to give a little bit underneath your, your, your fingers. Now if they give a little bit and, and it, um, it doesn't come back and it leaves a little divot in the fruit, it's a little overripe, but that's okay. That means it's ready to eat immediately, um, right this second. Um, so that's it on harvesting peaches. And so we'll take a look at some of the, we'll go into one of the trees and talk about some of the cultural stuff that we do. All right, here we are underneath uh, one of our peach trees here. Uh, these are one of our uh, Florida peaches. And these trees are about two years old, uh, just over two years old. So they're, very, they're a very fast growing tree, especially, especially here in Florida uh, where, it, where it gets quite warm. So as you can see, we have these trees pruned up uh, about two feet tall. And this is where our scaffolds begin. So these trees were pruned at this point. Um, and then we force all of these larger branches to grow out in different directions uh, to, to produce um, peaches or to support to support the fruit load. Um, these trees are irrigated. Uh, we irrigate these using a uh, uh, not a drip irrigation but a but a small uh, emitter sprinkler irrigation system so each tree has one of these um, and that's connected to this black poly tubing on the ground here. We keep the base underneath these trees uh, pretty uh, relatively clean that way we can fertilize uh, and, and do all of our other cultural practices that we need to do underneath the trees uh, so we can keep these trees healthy. Uh, most peach, peach orchards are going to be um, the trees are the spacing on peach trees is going to be somewhere between 15 to 18 feet. Now I know you can't see it in the video, but these trees are actually spaced really close together. They're spaced at six feet apart, um, and we're doing this uh, for um, uh, for high uh, for high capacity or what's known as high density production. So we're growing these trees relatively close together. Uh, we're forcing the branching uh, outwards uh, and not in row like this we're forcing it outwards um, and these rows themselves are about 25 feet apart so we can we can maintenance uh, some of the the area we can mow and, and, and keep these this area open for, for harvest and things like that so Florida peaches in themselves um, they are relatively as you can see they're, they're relatively small smaller than what you might buy in the grocery store but what they lack for in size they make up for in flavor. These are some of the best peaches. Uh, Florida peaches are some of the best pe are the best peaches uh, that you will ever eat. So uh, these produce these trees produce uh, quite a, uh, quite a bit of fruit each year um, and we're uh, we're excited to be able to grow them here in Florida and um, I think that's about it. Thank you for joining me on our trip to North Marion County to check out the peach orchard. I hope you enjoyed it and go Tigers!